holy camoles card number 17 lsd and the cia are we looking at timothy leary look at this look at this dick helms and timothy leary holy camoles holy there are so many discussions about who timothy leary is wow 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 let's read two more cards gang there's 36 cards in this and we're gonna do the next 18 later this is number 17 we're gonna read number 18 there's a vatican there we're gonna read that and we're gonna read this and then we're gonna call the stream because we're coming up to two hours for this game okay let's check this out card number 17 lsd and the cia in 1952 the cia began mind control experiments under the code name mk ultra the project brainchild brainchild of richard helms included dosing unsuspecting americans with lsd that also should include canadians they did it to canadians as well this stuff came out later after this 1991 the u.s, US government settled with the canadians that sued them uh, a few years ago the families okay so included dosing unsuspecting americans with lsd some were permanently dis disabled but the experiments continued for 12 years by which by which time helms ran the cia's quote dirty tricks end quote department while helms was cia director in 1966 to 1973 the agency mounted a massive campaign to discredit the anti-war movement Helms destroyed most MK Ultra documents in 1973, so it is hard to know if the huge increase in MLC supply during his tenure was a CIA covert action. But a close look at acid guru Timothy Leary, whose quote turn on, turn in, tune in, drop out, end quote motto was anti theor uh, antithetical. To the new left raises questions leary's patron from 1963 to 1969 was stockbroker billy mellon uh, hitchcock a session of the wealthy melanie family hitchcock in invest invested drug profits from the brotherhood of eternal love a leary connected lsd dealing motorcycle gang in mob link resorts international and at the bohemian base castle rank a cia mafia money laundering what from 1969 to 1971 with leary's blessing ronald stark supplied 50 million doses of lsd to the brotherhood the gang was busted in 1971 but by then stark was in europe with their money jailed in italy in 1975 he was released in 1979 when the judge found quote a series of scrupulously unnumerated pro proofs end quote that stark had been a cia agent quote from 1960 onwards end quote leary was jailed escaped to algeria and linked up with alleged agent provocateur edge elbridge cleaver he later returned home and served time by the 1980s he was touring the lecture circuit with watergate burglar g gordon libby oh my god <laughs> crazy crazy this is a phd thesis game phd thesis these trading cards 